How are doing everybody? Uh, Matthew back. I know it's been a while, but um, I'm still here. Uh, fighting a really bad headache, so um, everything sounds off, that's why. Um, I've not done hardly any modeling in a long, long time. Uh, most of you probably know that. I've been doing a lot of 3D printing. But um, over the last year, year and a half, I've probably started uh, five or six vehicles of various kinds. And just a week or so in, just fall out of love with her, just lose interest and box her back up. Um, but this one, I'm kind of, uh, I'm further along than what I would normally start doing videos on. Just to make sure I'm actually going to follow through with it before I put up a video. And uh, I'm kind of liking this one. So I, I've done one before. And I, I know what it kind of is. But it's the uh, 50 Oldsmobile. Uh, I got a glare on here. But anyway, 50 Oldsmobile. I'm um, sure you're all familiar with this kit. But that's what we're doing. And uh, it's going to be just a solid color. Uh, most of you know I'm big into two-tone. I two-tone just about everything. I'm sitting here looking. I've got a couple, maybe two up there. They're two. They're a solid color. Um, so this will be maybe my third one. Um, here's the body of it. Um, it's out of the spray booth. It needs to be buffed and. Uh, uh, polished out. Let me get it off the little stand here. I keep these little baggies on there to keep my thing clean. So it still needs to be buffed and see if we can get some shine to it. You can see I got a little speck. Ooh. Ah, got dry paint on my hands. I got a little speck of uh, uh, something right there. It must come out. I didn't clean my booth or my spray gun, which is very unusual for me. Like I said, I haven't built anything in a long time, so it's out of practice. And I th thought there was a speck on the trunk, but I don't see it right now. But there's some orange peel I want to get rid of. And that speck has got to go, so I don't know if I can get rid of that without going through the... Of course, you can see I'm making fingerprints. If I can get rid of that going, without going through the clearance of it or not. So, there's a speck there on the door. We gotta get rid of. I should have made preparations and cleaned the booth and, and whatnot, but I didn't, so but that's what we got for the body. Uh, and I got all this dried stuff off on me from the little baggie on the, what you call it. But here's the dinner carriage, uh, just basic, basic undercarriage. Uh, the hood's got orange peel, of course, on it. So I have to get rid of that. So we can get that to shine up a little bit. And got our decals on there. And uh, the clear I used was so thick. I couldn't hardly get the pipette to suck it up. So I hadn't used it in so long. So I had to really thin it out to, to uh, get it to suck up in there. And spray. But this is all the red stuff I've got painted up so far. And here's a little, uh, I'm going to put the little fender skirts on. So there's a little fender skirts. i got two of those. So I've got that done so far. Uh, here's the the engine now. I've got going. Uh, focus in here. Come on. It was hard to focus so I moved it. Come on. Focus. There we go. Alright, so the engine I got started so far. I uh, still got a lot more to go on it. Um, still got a lot of wiring I want to put on there. Uh, a lot more I want to do to it. So we can get it off this. Just hold my hand maybe. I don't know if it'll... Yeah, I made it a lot worse, didn't it? Okay, maybe we'll put it back on this. I don't know what that's got to do with it, but... Um... So I've been doing a lot of researching with the pictures uh, online. Um, got the return here for the uh, radio for the radiator line. It's got one going out here, and it goes in to the firewall over here. Uh, this one does, and then they both return out, or it returns out through 
This one, which goes into a hard line here, goes back through this metal line. It's really weird. And then I got all the lines to the carburetor stuff. Then I got a, a I'll find a link back here. A fuel bowl here that I've 3D printed. I got a bunch of those. I've, I made 500 at one time in 45 minutes uh, on the, on the uh, fuel line. So this little fuel bowl. And I got a lot more 3D printed stuff on there, but um, and more to go on. So I got more to make and more design uh, to go on it. And then we got the, here's the air cleaner that came for it. And I was trying to do, because they have real faint um, mold lines in it. So I was trying to get the mold lines better. And you can see they turn out like eh, not so good. They're all kind of wobbly and crooked. And I even cut a hole through it there. And the reason being for all that is uh, this, I bought this, I don't know, 10 years ago, 8 years ago from um, Micromark and it was exceptional at the time well I've built a lot of models with this thing and it got super dull so me being me thought well I'll just sharpen it and when I got done with this uh, grinding wheel on my cutter over here there wasn't a whole lot of tool left and uh, it didn't cut so well and by the time I got it actually sharpened where it would cut well, then it was super wide, and it just, yeah, nothing really. So I messed the car up, the body, so this is the one you just seen with my second body. Um, and this piece here just destroyed. So I uh, sat down, took about five minutes, designed this in my CAD program, and three printed me out one. And uh, as you can see, it looks... So it looks identical except for the lines or the depth and the way they're supposed to be. So now we have that nice new part and all looks nice and the way it's supposed to. Maybe throw some clear coat on there, maybe not. That's just paint over some primer. So we'll see. And then uh, in order to fix my Panel line scriber. I ordered uh, this from Mad Mad Madworks, and um, apparently you can't buy these decently. Well, this one you can't buy it at all anymore. Uh, one size fits all panel line scriber anymore. Um, I ordered. Uh, I found it in here real fast. Yeah, this thing from Trumpeter for like ten bucks, and. Um, yeah, I don't recommend it. So, I, that came like next day through Amazon. So I ended up spending close to $100 and got uh, this Madworks thing. Which came with all these <clears throat> little cutter blades. Of course, you had to buy these all separately. They're like 20 bucks a piece or something like that. But they are phenomenal. So I got a, a 0 0.1, a 2... A three and a four uh, blade, and I've used them all so far on this car, except for the four, which is fairly wide. And um, I do like them because I use a different size. See, I've done the all the little panel lines, you know, here on the front, which is different size than what the door jams are, and then I've done the around the fuel door which is a different size than all the other ones are so it's, it's really nice to be able to have the different sizes to keep all the panel lines and stuff correct um, to be able to do that and uh, there was so yeah this I wish I would have had it in time so I could have done the scribing inside of this <clears throat> so I made them a little better and crisper and and whatnot but uh, yeah, that'll be alright. So we got those, some new little tools, some toys to play with, so. And it looks like we're about uh, nine minutes, so um, I'll get these put away. And uh, what we're going to do next 
is I don't know if I'm gonna work on the motor <clears throat> but I do need to polish this uh, polish these up and get after them with the with my uh, Dremel thing well it's not a Dremel but it's my most of you probably seen it it's just like you see the dentist on a cable got the little motor hanging over here that's what I do all my buffing with with my little buffing wheels so uh, I'll get after this and uh, we'll see what it looks like and I'll come back with the next video and see where we're at so uh, I want to thank everybody for staying with me staying subscribed and uh, until next video I'll talk to you then and bye bye